Hey guys, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my very first video as a design team member for the Rabbit Hole Designs. So today I'm going to be using the Flamingo Botanical Stamp Set and this is part of the new release. And I stamped out these two panels with white pigment ink on 100 pound black cardstock. And we're going to use some very light watercoloring. I don't add any water to the paper itself. And I really don't add a lot to the brush. Mostly I'm adding it to the paint and then picking up the amount of paint onto the tip of the brush that I desire. So while you've watched me paint this last flower real quick, I'm going to read these sentiments out to you. Stand tall, stand out, know you are unique and magnificent. It's all about balance. Bloom where you are planted. Friend. Life is about learning to balance on one leg because we don't always land on both feet. I think that's my favorite one. Life blossoms when it is in a state of harmony and balance. And then this last one I like too. If I had a flower for every time you made me smile and laugh, I could walk in my garden forever. Now I don't use the flamingo that I painted as much as I fell in love with it. I love how they both turned out. But sometimes when you have an idea, it just doesn't come to fruition. Like, I could not make this work for the life of me. And I just became so frustrated with it that I set the flamingo aside and redid it on white cardstock and stamped it out with Versifying Claire, uh, yeah, Versifying Claire Morning Mist, I think it's called, gray ink. And I did it with zigs that time. So... It was still very beautiful. I hope I can use my flamingo on the black card sack and another card when that idea has left my head because it just wasn't working. So here I am restamping the lines, the white lines of my flowers, and you can't see it on camera, but one of those flowers has like a double line. Like I did not line the stamp up totally correct. And it was bothering me. So I went through all this work to mask off these flowers so I could do some splatters. And I'm doing that with Daniel Smith Chinese White watercolor paint with a little bit of water mixed in. And then the sparkly splatter is Ink on Threes. I think it's called Pixie Dust. I'll have everything listed for you down below. And I just put one dropper of that in my little container with one tiny drop of water. Be careful not to saturate your masking paper because it will ruin the image underneath. So I was very careful about that and where I aimed my splatter and then I heat dried it on both sides and peeled my masks off. So moving on, I hope I will be able to use my flamingo on another card. But for right now, it was just time to move on and come up with a different idea. So I did create four more flowers because of my mistake. I didn't want to glue them on top of the other flowers. It just didn't look right. So we, I went with just popping four new ones up on foam tape. And now I'm using this tonic mirrored iridescent cardstock. This stuff is so cool looking. I cut the center out because I hate to waste stuff like that. And you weren't going to see it anyway. I glued that flat to the frame. And now we're going to stamp out our sentiment with Versamark. And we're going to use blue tinsel embossing powder by Ranger. Now the first one, and I powdered the heck out of that thing. But the first one, the bottom of the sentiment just didn't turn out quite right, so I re-stamped it. And I just cut that into a rectangle, popped some foam tape onto the back of the entire panel. And I always add glue because... I know it's going to stay on, but it also gives me a little wiggle, wiggle room if I put that panel on crooked. So now I'm going to put all those four, those four flowers on, and I added glue to that foam tape as well. And I'm looking at a moth, and I can't tell if it's in my car or if it's outside my car. Hold on, guys. And I'm very meticulous about lining that up to make sure I don't make any more mistakes on my card. That thing landed back in my car. Okay, moving on. So now I have another card for you. That one's all finished. And I'm using Catherine Wheel Shimmer Powder. And I think this one's called Sunray Cross It. 
I don't know. This one has had two different names when I've looked it up on different websites. Anyway, mix them with a little water. I don't often use these like this, so it was fun. And we're going to do the same type of card, just a little bit different. So it has a little bit, a little bit of a different look. So I'm going to splatter those on. And then after I do the red, I do the yellow. And then I mix the two together. Now I had to add more yellow powder because the red was so overpowering. And I got kind of a rusty orange. It turned out pretty. After I have all that on, I heat dry my panel. That's what it looks like. And there's my flamingo. Now, I colored that in with Ganzai Tambi. Yes, Ganzai Tambi watercolors. And it turned out pretty too. But I did really like the metallic one. Like I said, hopefully I'll be able to use it on a different card. And then I pulled out some tonic pearlescent cardstock. And this time we're going to put the frame on the top of our panel. So I put the main panel down on a black card base, 100 pound card base, and centered it as best I could. And now I'm just measuring out where I want my sentiment to be so I can stamp that out really quick. And we're going to heat that up with clear embossing powder, but we're going to use MFT's Gumdrop Green Dye Ink. I think I had to stamp it like four times to get it as dark as I wanted it. I wanted it to tie in with the uh, green foliage in the flamingo. And I thought that turned out really pretty. So after I heat set that, I was really careful to not to bend my card because I should have did that before I put my panel on the card base. I'm going to glue that frame on and then the flamingo. And I want you guys to let me know if you would have done this next step or not. So comment below and let me know if you would have done this next step. So after I add the jelly roll eye dot the eye to the flamingo, I take these like orange, rusty orange glitter nouveau drops. I do not remember the name. How many times did you guys hear that in this video? And added them scattered around the card. It looks pretty, but I think it would have looked prettier without them. So you let me know what you think down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned later this month. I'll be doing another one with this stamp set. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye for now.